the wall in the middle of the book. There is a wall in the middle of the book. And it's a good thing. The wall protects this side of the book from the other side of the book. This side of the book is safe. The other side is not. But the most dangerous thing on the other side of the book is the ogre. If the ogre ever caught me, he would eat me up. That's why I am glad there is a wall in the middle of the book. And that I am on the side of it. Wait a second, what's going on? This is not supposed to happen on this side of the wall. Wow, thank you so much. Oh no, I'm on the other side of the book. And you are the ogre who is going to eat me up. Ha ha ha. I'm actually a nice ogre. And this side of the book is fantastic. Come on, I will show you around. Hey, ogre, wait for me. The end. Does a kangaroo have a mother too? Yes, a kangaroo has a mother just like me and you. Does a lion have a mother too? Yes, a lion has a mother just like me and you. Does a giraffe have a mother too. Yes, a giraffe has a mother just like me and you. Does a penguin have a mother too? Yes, a penguin has a mother just like me and you. Does a swarm have a mother too? Yes, a swarm has a mother just like me and you. Does a fox have a mother too? Yes, a fox has a mother just like me and you. Does a dolphin have a mother too? Yes, a dolphin has a mother just like me and you. Does a sheep have a mother too? Yes, a sheep has a mother just like me and you. Does a bear have a mother too? Yes, a bear has a mother just like me and you. Does an elephant have a mother too? Yes, an elephant has a mother just like me and you. Does a monkey have a mother too? Yes, a monkey has a mother just like me and you. And do animal mothers love their babies? Yes, yes, of course they do. Animal mothers love their babies just as your loves you. Kindly like, share and subscribe more and friends and press the bell icon for upcoming videos and thank you for watching. Welcome back to Moo and Friends. Today we will read Mixed. In the beginning, there were three colors. Reds, yellows and blues. Reds were the loudest yellows were the brightest and blues were the coolest everyone lived in color harmony until one afternoon when a red said reds are the best the yellows disagreed no we are the best because we are the brightest the blues were too cool to even respond. The colors decided to be in different parts of the city. But then one day, a yellow noticed a blue. And something happened. I feel so happy when I am near you. And I feel so calm when I'm with you. Yellow and blue become inseparable life felt so vibrant but not all the colors were happy about it colors shouldn't mix i don't like yellow's effect on blue that blue is not bright enough for yellow but yellow and blue loved each other so much they decided to 
mix. Together, they created a new color. They named her green. Green was bright like yellow and calm like blue. But really, she was a color all of her own. Everyone was fascinated. She is so cute. I have never seen anything like her before. Even the grumpy colors fell in love with green. Can I help her? The colors began to see new possibilities. Soon, other colors mixed and mixed and mixed and mixed. There were so many new colors and a lot of new names. Be careful, Jade. Don't forget your glasses, Lavender. Have fun, Amber. The old neighborhoods of Redville, Blue Town, and Yellow House didn't make sense anymore. Everyone wanted to live together, so they rebuilt the city. The new city was full of colors. It wasn't perfect, but it was home. The end. Kindly like, share and subscribe, move and friends and press the bell icon for upcoming videos and thank you for watching.